Hello and welcome to our image on Hurler and Hunter syndromes, which is part of our playlist on lysosomal storage diseases. These diseases are also known as mucopolysaccharidosis, type 1 and type 2, respectively. They are genetic diseases in which enzyme deficiencies lead to the buildup of mucopolysaccharides, which then causes each disease's signs and symptoms. But I don't want to reveal too much in the prelude. Let's take this one step at a time. So here's the story. A couple of buddies want to go hunting. They hop in the car and head over to this abandoned house, which they hear has lots of deer. But this isn't just any abandoned house. It's by the old sulfur mines. You know, the one with the deer man who wanders around its depths. But please, is that supposed to scare our brave adventurers? I mean, come on, a deer man? What could go wrong? They're just stories, right? First, take a look at our two friends. To pass the time, they've decided to shoot skeet while waiting on the deer. On the left, we have a guy hurling skeet. He represents hurler syndrome. On the right, we have the hunter shooting the skeet. He represents, of course, hunter syndrome. Well, it looks like they plan on being out here for a while. So of course they've brought refreshments. See the ice chest? This ice chest represents ice storage, which is our recurring symbol for lysosomal storage diseases. You can remember them as isosomal storage diseases. But they don't want to wait too long. They want to lure in the deer. And what better way to lure deer than a sugar block? Deer sure love sugar blocks. Maybe they will attract a big one. But wait, there's something kind of weird here. What's that weird mucus? What kind of deer are out here? This ominous warning should help you remember the term mucopolysaccharidosis. Let's break this down. The prefix muco is represented by the mucus, and the word polysaccharidosis is represented by the sugar. Remember, a polysaccharide is just a bunch of sugar molecules. This mucousy sugar block should help you remember that Hurler and Hunter syndromes are also known as the mucopolysaccharidosis. Hurler syndrome is mucopolysaccharidosis type 1, and Hunter syndrome is mucopolysaccharidosis type 2. In these syndromes, mucopolysaccharides build up and cause disease. In case you're not familiar with the term mucopolysaccharide, I quickly want to mention that mucopolysaccharide is just another word for glycosaminoglycan. These are often known as GAGs, which you may remember from your biochemistry class. Wait, what's that in the background? It looks like our friends here have finally attracted a wild deer. But this is no ordinary deer. Wait, that can't be. Is that the deer man from the sulfur mine? Oh man, now I'm getting nervous. The word deer man should help you remember the word dermatan. And notice all the hairpins it's wearing? The word hairpin should help you remember the word heparin. And the deer man lives in the sulfur mine to help you remember the word sulfate. Putting all of this together will help you remember the substances that accumulate in Hurler and Hunter syndromes, dermatan sulfate and heparin sulfate. By the way, these are just types of mucopolysaccharides. Next, take a look at the smart car in the background. These friends may be hunting, but they sure love fuel economy. But why did they park their car so far away? I mean, will they even be able to get to it in time? It seems like the beginning of a horror movie. Anyway, smart cars are a recurring symbol for autosomal recessive disorders. That's because Hurler syndrome is inherited in an autosomal recessive fashion. Now take a look at the abandoned house. See the eye above the door? This eye is an alpha eye, and its stone inset is in the shape of an L. This should help you remember the enzyme, alpha l igeronidase which is the deficient enzyme in Hurler syndrome. Let's break this down. The alpha I and the L-shaped inset should help you remember the phrase alpha L I. And see the crack running down the center of the I? This should help you remember the enzyme suffix, ACE, which means to split. This enzyme deficiency leads to the buildup of mucopolysaccharides, which then leads to the symptoms of Hurler syndrome. We've given you the tools to remember this whole enzyme's name, but you'll never actually be asked to regurgitate this phrase. What's more important is that you can answer a multiple choice question about it. Just remember this, alpha I with a crack in it, which should get you most of the way there, at least to alpha I ace. There will only be one answer choice that matches this pattern, and that's the one you should pick. Now take a look at the gargoyle on the side of the building. This gargoyle should help you remember gargoyalism, which describes the dysmorphic facial features found in Hurler's syndrome. These facial features occur as a result of mucopolysaccharide buildup, giving patients coarse, gargoyle-like facial features. Next, take a look at the lever on the side of the door. This lever is our recurring symbol for hepatosplenomegaly. We call it the liver lever. Now take a look at the creepy turtle statue. A turtle is our recurring symbol for developmental delay. What's more delayed than a slow turtle? 
Next, take a look at all of the skeet in front of the air vent. This should help you remember airway obstruction, which is another common feature of Hurler syndrome. It occurs as a result of the buildup of mucopolysaccharides in the trachea, which then results in tracheal narrowing. Now look at all of the fog in front of our hurler. Ominous, right? All that fog seems to be fogging up his glasses. These fogged glasses represent corneal clouding, which occurs as mucopolysaccharide deposits in the cornea. So that's enough about Hurler syndrome. Let's talk about Hunter syndrome. Hunter syndrome is also caused by the buildup of mucopolysaccharides, so many of the features are the same. In fact, you can think of Hunter syndrome as a milder form of Hurler syndrome. But if many of the symptoms are the same, how can you tell them apart on test day? First, notice that our hunter can clearly see his target. There's no fog over here. That's because in Hunter syndrome, patients can see clearly. This is because it's a milder form of Hurler syndrome. There's just not enough mucopolysaccharide present to cause corneal clouding. Additionally, Hunter syndrome is associated with aggressive behavior. I mean, what can be more aggressive than a guy with a gun? Next, take a look at the statue that the hunter is sitting on. It's a big, creepy eye and it seems to be splitting a big sulfur rock below it. This symbol represents iduronate sulfatase, which is the deficient enzyme in Hunter syndrome. It also leads to the buildup of mucopolysaccharides, but less so than does Hurler syndrome. As with Hurler syndrome, you'll never have to remember the whole name of this enzyme. Rather, you'll just have to pick it out on a multiple choice test. The I statue should help you remember the word iduronate, and the sulfur getting split should help you remember sulfatase. There will only be one answer choice that starts with I and ends with sulfatase, and that's the right answer choice for Hunter syndrome. Finally, take a look at the small cross statue next to the hunter. I guess this place is also a graveyard. A small cross is a recurring symbol for X-linked recessive disorders. And you guessed it, Hunter syndrome is inherited in an X-linked recessive fashion. And that's it for Hurler and Hunter syndromes. These diseases are caused by enzyme deficiencies that lead to the buildup of the mucopolysaccharides, dermatan sulfate, and heparin sulfate. This buildup then leads to the various signs and symptoms seen in each disease. Hurler syndrome is more severe than is Hunter syndrome, and by that I mean there is more mucopolysaccharide built up. Since the two diseases are so similar, question stems will force you to distinguish between them. The main difference is that Hunter syndrome patients have clear vision and aggressive behavior, whereas Hurler syndrome patients do not. You'll usually get asked a more complicated question though, such as, what is the probability that the patient will have a child with the disease? Or, what is the enzyme most likely mutated in this patient? Long story short, you first need to figure out which disease the stem is talking about, Hurler or Hunter. You can then fill in the symbols around either the Hurler or the Hunter to figure out the correct answer choice. Just remember this image and you'll get those mucopolysaccharidosis points on test day. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. For more videos like these, click here to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also check out the interactive version of this image at pixarize.com by following the link in the description. If you like what we're doing, share with your friends on social media and we'll keep making great content like this. We'll see you next time.